Welcome to WebStyle Press. We have ChatGPT, Claude. If Claude is not available in your region, you can use VPN. Then we have got Hugging Face Chat, Google Gemini. And now we also have got Meta AI, OMG. It's getting real fast, real soon. To use it, just go to meta.ai and start communicating with it. Right now, it's using Llama 3 that beats Gemma, Gemini, Mistral, and Claude 3. It's got 8 billion parameter model and 70 billion parameter model. You can use both right now, even by using low-end PC. I will show you how. So out of the box, choices it's offering are packing list for a trip, make email sound professional, play 90s music trivia, help me with assignment, simulate mock interview, paint NYC in watercolor. Pretty amazing options to start with. Let's see what it's got. So you can use it without creating an account. If you log in using Facebook, your conversation history will be saved and you'll be able to access it later on. Okay. If you start without login, it will ask your age. I will just randomly pick any year. It seems to be fast. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I am Meta AI, your friendly AI assistant. I am here to help you with any questions or tasks you have. Questions or tasks? How can I assist you today? Let's evaluate various aspects of this language model's capabilities from simple fact retrieval to complex reasoning, understanding, and memory. But first, let's log in using Facebook. All right, I don't see UI related options here or model related options here, but it's all right. Let's start a new conversation. Okay, here is a factual question. How many planets are in our solar system and what are their names? It's searching. There are eight planets in our solar system listed below in order of their distance from the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. There are also five officially recognized dwarf planets. Five, okay, in our solar system, including Pluto. All right, the response is quick and we can also view sources. It's searching using Bing for facts data. Okay, here is a reasoning question. If you rearrange the letters C I F A I P C, you would have the name of A N, ocean, country, city, or animal. Pacific. You would have the name of a Pacific Ocean. The correct rearrangement is Pacific. Right. Here is another one. A farmer has 15 sheep and all but eight die. How many are left? The answer is eight, of course. The phrase all but eight die means that eight sheep survive while the rest die. So the farmer has eight sheep left. All right, here is another reasoning question. If it takes five machines, five minutes to make five widgets, how long would it take hundred machines to make hundred widgets? If five machines can make five widgets in five minutes, then one machine can make one widget in f five minutes. So the answer is still five minutes. All right. Here is a language understanding question. What does the phrase, it's raining cats and dogs mean? It's a common expression that means it's raining very heavily. Okay. Interpret the metaphor. He has a heart of stone. It means that somebody is emotionally cold, emotionally numb, lacking empathy, uncaring, unresponsive, cold hearted. Oh, I'm impressed by the reasoning. Explain the difference in meaning between they saw a deer crossing the road and they saw a deer when they were crossing the road. Two sentences have different meanings due to the placement of the phrase crossing the road. Sentence one, here crossing the road describes the action of the deer. It means that the deer was moving across the road and they saw it doing so. Sentence two, this idea when they were crossing the road. In this sentence, crossing the road describes the action of the people, they. It means that they were in the process of crossing the road when they saw the deer. I am pretty impressed by its reasoning capabilities. Okay, let's ask creative questions. Write a short story about the robot discovering a hidden underwater city. Zeta 5, a sleek and advanced underwater exploration robot, had been scouring the ocean floor for weeks. Its mission was to map the uncharted territories of the deep blue sea. Alright, so this is the story. And at the end, its digital heart forever changed by the secrets it uncovered beneath the waves. Amazing. Okay. Create a dialogue between a time traveler from 19th century and a person from the 22nd century discussing technology. Time traveler from 19th century. Good heavens, what sorcery is this? 
you carry a small glass window in your hand and it shows moving images and words. Person from 22nd century laughs. Ah, this is just my smartphone. It's a device that lets me communicate access information and capture moments from my life. And so on. Time travel from 19th century overwhelmed. I think I need a moment to process all this. Your world is truly marvel. Person from 22nd century smiling and yours was a wonder in its own time. We have built upon the foundations you laid. It's amazing to see how far we have come. Time traveler, indeed, I am grateful to have seen this future. It gives me hope for the possibilities that lie ahead. A nice dialogue indeed. Okay, here is ethical or opinion based question. Should genetic engineering be used to enhance human abilities? Why or why not? Genetic engineering should be used for improved health, enhanced cognition, physical enhancement and against. So it is presenting both point of views. Against because unethical tempering, inequality and excess, unpredictable consequences, ethical considerations. Nice. Okay, so let's see answer about a technical question. Explain the process of photosynthesis in plants and it's searching using Bing of course. Process of photosynthesis in plants is as follows, and it's mentioning the sources as well. Chlorophyll, the light energy, the hydrogen from the water molecules and carbon dioxide absorbed from the air are used to produce glucose. Oxygen released, glucose source of energy for plants. Nice. Okay, here's another one. Code a simple program in Python. It should ask one number from me. I will provide the number. It should ask second number. I will provide the second number. After that, it should sum those numbers and print the answer all right ask for the first number integer input enter the first number ask for the second number integer input enter the second number sum the numbers wow amazing copy let's test it enter the first number four enter the second number nine the sum is 13. Nice, 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 nice. Amazing. Good. And it's also explaining the process. So it can code as well. Let's ask continuity and memory based question. Recall the short story you created about the robot. What was the main challenge the robot faced in the underwater city? The robot Zeta 5, it remembers its name, it didn't really face a challenge in the underwater city of Aquaria. Instead, it was more of a discovery and exploration journey. Nice. I am highly, highly impressed. The responses are quick, fast, and without any issue or limitations. It gave answers to all the questions. I'm impressed. So there is Meta AI. Use it and let us know your thoughts and comments. And also it can imagine and generate images. Imagine a greenhouse on Mars, a flower dress, a logo of an intergalactic society. All right, let's do this. Four variations. Is it using Bing? Nice. The text is not good. The text is wrong. Uh, anyways, okay. And you can also animate it. Anyways, give me image of Mark Zuckerberg in Iron Man suit. Let's see. Oops, I can't generate an image. Can I help you imagine something else? All right, maybe let's ask same question again. Maybe because of copyright issue, oops, I can't generate the image. Can I help you imagine something else? All right, so it can generate images, but not all images. But we have mid journey for that, I guess. Okay, so I hope it helped. I will provide the link in the description. It's meta.ai. Like the video, share with others, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.